Good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. Um, ooh, some cute hair here we got, like the Lion King. Um, so as some of you know, last night I took Max out on his first date. And it was so exciting for me because so rarely do I get to spend time with my son one-on-one. -on -one. He demands the least attention of me. So, you know, it's easy sometimes for him to get overlooked because he's very independent and a lot of times entertains himself and the girls are so whiny and needy and he's always happy. So when the opportunity came to take him to the opera, I thought, let's make a real night of it. We'll go out to dinner, we'll get dressed up. And he was so excited about his very first date. And I wanted it, you know, I, the expectation for me was so high because, like I said, I don't get these opportunities often. So I heard Michael getting him dressed for his date and I heard Michael saying things like, you know, try to hold the door for her buddy. Let her walk in first. You know, just telling him different things about what he should try to do on the date. And I, you know, I laughed because he's five. Um, and when we were leaving, we took a picture together, which some of you saw. And he wanted to see the picture. Is it a good picture for my first date? Let me see if I'm smiling. Because some of the pictures of Max, for those of you who have sons, especially at this age, there's a lot of this. That like awkward stress smile so he, he knows what that looks like. Anyway, Michael walked us down to the car and taught Max how to open the door for me. So cute. He opened the door for me and then he closed it behind me. And then he got in and buckled himself into his booster seat. And we were off. And it was just so cute. It was such a wonderful... Thing. It's something that I will never forget. For those of you who have sons, there is nothing in the world like the romantic, non-romantic love you have for your son. I can't explain it because it's obviously not romantic, but it is one of the greatest love stories ever told. They smell like everything that should smell right to you. They, You see everything in a boy that you could ever want for yourself, just not in a romantic way. He held my hand last night when he got tired. He was sucking his thumb and yawning, doing everything he could to stay awake on his first date. And at one point he climbed into my lap and I was holding him in my lap. And I, it was painful to realize that only a few years ago, it was so much easier to hold him in my lap. And now he's sort of outgrowing me in that way. And there's something about the thought of watching your son grow up. You want him to obviously be a man and learn how to treat women. And I don't know, am I the only one who feels like I hope he never leaves. <laughs> I hope I'm always his first love, even though I know it can't be that way. There, I don't know. There was, there is something magical about a mother and a son. The way that he looked at me when I came up into his room last night after Michael got him dressed, and they said, are you ready? And he goes, oh, you look so pretty. And I thought, I believe you. Oh, I love that boy. I got to tell you, last night was amazing. I woke up this morning feeling so incredibly thankful to the universe that I'm his mom. He's so sweet and innocent and delicious. I don't know any other way to describe him. 
I kissed him goodnight last night. It was so late. He kept saying, Mom, it's so late. It's 946. I mean, he has never been up that late before. And I said it was a special, it was a special night. He was so late, Mom. We need to go to bed. And I tucked him in and kissed him goodnight. And I thought, what a perfect date. With with the perfect boy and the perfect kiss goodnight. Anyway, I wanted to thank Scarlett and Haston for being with us. Jonathan, who came. Allison Cambridge, obviously, who's an amazing singer, for making, being part of Max's very first date. It was amazing. Um, I have some big news to share with you guys later. I need to get the wording right. It's not Jersey Bell, but it is amazing. So... Keep an eye on the page later for the announcement. I love you all so much. Thank you for being part of Max's first date. Thank you. Have a great day.